Hi, welcome to How to Change a Gold Lane Tire. Um, this is going to be part one of two. Uh, we're going to park a gold wing in your garage. Make sure you got enough room on the side to lay your gold wing down. We're not going to use any jacks or spans or anything like that. Put it on the side stand. Uh, if you've never done this before, uh, it might be a little scary at first. Uh, one thing I recommend is to put the bike in gear. Uh, probably should have done that before I got off. So we'll do it this way. Put in first gear. Put it on the side stand. This is a very heavy bike. Make sure you take precautions. Uh, it, it goes down really easily. It's going to lay on its side. We're going to lay it down on the uh, tank or the uh, trunk guard and also on the engine guard, but it's going to be on this side of the bike. So, what you're going to do is set it up for putting it down. You're going to turn uh, the steering wheel to the right, uh, the antenna. Make sure when you come over to the side here that you have enough room. You're going to grab the passenger hand uh, grip on this side. Um, basically, put the bike straight upright, get it ready for lowering. Grab the passenger uh, grip and slowly lower it to the ground. See, you need that. Alright, now that you have the bow wing laid over on its side, we have to go one step further. We're going to use this center stand as another jack to get this wheel up off the ground. Right now, the wheel is still touching the ground, so you're not going to be able to get the wheel off in this position. So we have to roll it over just a little bit further. And to do this, it can get a little awkward. You might have to get a little help. Uh, you can have uh, a friend or spouse or somebody help you do this part, or do it on your own. <clears throat> Basically, you're going to get down here, grab the wheel, you're going to roll it up, and then you're going to pull this center stand into position. And what that does is it gets the gold wing rear tire up off the ground so you can work on it. All you're going to need to do this is uh, one wrench. It's the three quarters or a 19 millimeter socket on a wrench. I recommend using a torque wrench. This way you can set them to the proper torque when you're done. Um, and let's get at it. There's five lug nuts on here and as you can see, uh, this right down in here, it's just like a car tire. So you put your wrench in place and you just loosen them up. Work yourself all the way around. So if you ever change the tire on a car, uh, it's almost that easy. You have a little bit of restraint having the bike lay on its side. Um, I don't know if they thought of it in this way, but it's actually a really good idea. Any do-it-yourselfer should be able to do this pretty easily. There's the last one. And now you just remove the tire. Make sure you're keeping a good posture when you're doing this so you don't hurt your back. It's really easy. Pull it off, bring it out, and there you have it. That's taking the wheel off of a Goldwing, and now you can take this down to your local Honda shop and get a new rubber put on it, or any tire shop that does this for a living. Um, don't recommend doing that at home. Uh, it's kind of a hard thing to do, and balancing the tire is just as important as it is on a car. So, uh, join me back for part two a little bit later on.